What took me so long before I used this? Wow. Mm-hmm. Yes. Ooh Remind me not to eat these smart sweets before filming because what in the world? They are the peach rings stuck to my teeth. All right, let's jump in and try some new products. We have two different cameras, so let me know how you're feeling about that. Oh, and I'm gonna link this wig below in addition to all of the products. I love this yakky texture. It's giving my hair. You know it, girl, you know it's true. I got this in PR from Elf Cosmetics. So funny, it looks like literally a pair of jeans. And when I first saw it, I was like, this is not my size, Elf, hello. Inside of it, I got this eyeshadow palette, which looks like a pair of jeans. Isn't that so cute? And a clay mask. And then this really interesting lipstick, which I'm not gonna use because I have on my lip primer already. It's supposed to like adapt to your lips. Not today. We'll get, we'll get to that in a different video. In a different video, I use the Photo Finish Primer, the general one. And right now, I'm gonna use this Photo Finish Matter fine primer because this is a new product. So let's see how this gonna work. You feel me? It is a cooler day outside, which I've talked about with you in the past, will change the way your makeup looks and performs because of the environment that you're in. I'm focusing this on the areas of my face where I get oily and that is here in the T-zone, just going up, branching a little bit into the cheeks, but now I think I took too much. Hold on. <laughs> Let's rub this in. Yes, I've done my skincare. That is important to do before all of this, okay? Don't skip Mondays and don't skip your skincare. Praise the Lord. All right, that did mattify my face a little bit. Let me dry it down and see if that does anything. It does feel dry. It doesn't look ashy. Sometimes it will happen with certain products. It doesn't look ashy, but it does feel dry in a good way. All right. I've never used this. I've got the one size Patrick Star BBB cream. Not BB, BBB cream. Beauty Blur Balm. Wow. I have not used this. This is the shade Deep 3N for very deep neutral tones. This is looking like a good color. Let's check it out. It is a tinted blur cream, I guess. Okay. Applied to clean, dry, moisturized. Skin. The applicator is unique in that it's like this. Onto the finger, is it gonna be? Okay, it's a little thicker than I was expecting, which is good because I don't want this to make a huge mess. And let's see. Oh, this is a great color. This is chocolatey. Ooh, wait. This is a beautiful chocolate color. Wait, am I gonna use my finger? Hold on, I really can, but it's looking blotchy. Wait a minute, oh, I like, wow. It's giving coverage. I think you can definitely get away with applying this in a lovely way with a sponge, but I was just trying to wipe that on. I'm gonna use this Say Foundation brush and move it around that way. Ooh, okay. Uh, let me just put it on my forehead like that. This is creamy. Oh, I am very pleased. Wow, the color is so deep. I know you would argue that this is too dark for me, but if you know what I like to do, then you know what I like to do and you'll know that this is good. I mean, it is dark in the best way. Ah, oh, and I'm pouncing this on with this brush. Wow, is this supposed to be matte? This looks good. What took me so long before I used this? Wow, I am blown away. Wow, this looks good. For some reason, my nose always be look, I don't be getting enough coverage on my nose. I'm sure it's the shape and then just the way that I'm applying the product. This looks so good. Comment and let me know what you think about this thus far. Have you used this? You gotta tell me, cause I'm in love with it already. <laughs> I ain't got no new concealer, honey. So let's go ahead with this KVT Vegan Beauty Apple Bomb. Girl, that ain't even the name, you feel me? This is the concealer. This is the shade 177. Now, this is not looking as bright as it normally does. This foundation is on the red. I know that it's neutral, but it's on the red right now. I would like for it to be a little more gray. <laughs> But I'm sure it'll all come together. You know how that goes. Let's just keep on going, okay? This is an elf sponge. Gonna link this below, okay? And let's blend this out, starting on the outer part of the eye. And now we are blending it, melting it into the skin. No need to drag this to the hairline because why? We are going to contour. In fact, I've got a new contour product, which now seeing the shade of this foundation or BB 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 cream, I don't know if it's gonna show because this is pretty dark in the greatest 
way. And I don't know if this contour that I have is gonna be dark enough to show the way that I need it to, you know? All right, let's put some of this down the middle of the face. You feel me? With the forehead situation, you feel me? In a V shape, are y'all doing this? I know I have a lot of beginners who watch my video. Oh God, look at me, talking too much. That is too wide, no one does that. We're gonna fix it with our contour, but that is annoying because that should not have happened, you know? Come on, ride that train, it's a choo choo train, okay? And now we are going under the chin to do a what? Reverse contour. This is going to isolate out the cheekbones. As you can see, back over what I did was I took some of the product that was already on my face and used it to what? Apply into other areas. When I'm doing this middle highlight section, no need to take a lot of product you on me for the cheeks because it's gonna do what it has to do. And did you catch what I just did? I blended it into the middle area. You saw a line giving horizon. In, and then we went around it, you feel me? So that the whole thing blended, okay? You don't really see a harsh line. We're going to further emphasize that and deepen the perimeter of the face with our contour. Now this highlight is just okay. Leave the brows alone, we're gonna do that. I like to have my makeup brows different from my no makeup microblading or micro shading brows. This is a new product from e.l.f. And I don't know, like I said, this is gonna be dark enough. This is the Halo Glow Beauty Wand and it's a shade Deep Rich. It was the darkest in the tube that was sent to me. Okay, this looks like the, what is it? Is it the cover girl? Maybelline, Maybelline has a concealer like this, right? Yeah. Now let's see, cause I don't want too much to come out and make a mess. Okay, ooh, oh, hold on a second. I might be proven wrong today. Oh, this is dark. Wow, okay. Wow, now the wand is very skinny. I wish it was thicker, but that's okay. Because if it works, it works. Hold on, okay. Wow, uh, I was a little concerned about this being too dark, but it's good. I just wish it was, you know, you know what I'll do next time I'll draw it? I didn't want to draw it this time because if it was too deep, I'd have too much product on my face, but I'll do more of a draw on the other side to help spread it. Like I need some more, I'm seeing some blotchiness, but this looks good. Ooh, this is good, hello. Oh, beauty wand. Squeezing some more to apply some more. And this is the Sephora 56 brush, okay? Praise God. This is great. It is not so deep like KBD Vegan Beauty 98 foundation, you feel me? This is a comfortable level of contour. Do you see? I like this. If you've tried this, let me know. If you plan on it, let me know. This shade is good. And like I said, this is the shade Deep Rich the darkest one that I received, which I would imagine is the darkest one like in general, but you know, I don't know for sure. Now we do need to, you know what I'm saying, go ahead and do the nose contour because I do love a good nose contour. Taking the leftover product from this brush and doing that. I need more contour on the nose, so I took more product on the back of my hand. Taking the product now on a clean part of my hand, blotting some of the product off before I go and apply it onto my face. This will ensure that I am not taking too much and then I have the ability to build this up versus going from hand to face, honey, it's going to be giving tarmac, you know? It's going to be giving conveyor belt. And that is not necessarily the look that I'm going for today, okay? It's a little subtle, it's looking a little crazy, but that's okay, we're gonna bring it all together, you feel me, like, later? <laughs> this is soft. It's not so soft that I can't see it, and it's not so dark that I'm like, whoa. Like, it's good. I think this would be a great contour product for a beginner. You have time to build it up, you have space to say too much, let's slow down. You really can take control over it. Now, cleaner side of the sponge to now blend this line of demarcation that was there that should not be so pronounced right now. Going on the forehead to do the same thing, turning it this way, did you catch that? To now come on this side and blend this line of demarcation, which should be no longer, okay? That is how it should look when blended. And I am going to powder all of this down, but if you like a more creamy, natural-esque looking face in the sense that it's creamy and like looking creamy, you can leave it there and not set any of this. Now we need to do the setting under the eye. You know what? I have not used this Givenchy Prisme Libre. I, like, what is my problem? <laughs> I'm annoyed, creature of habit, and that is irritating. So let's use that today. It's giving Lux Bay, okay? And here we go. This is the Flanel Epicier. 
Mm-hmm, that one. Number six, baby. And it's got four different compartments. We are not gonna use this poof, because I don't do poofs, you feel me? We're gonna go ahead and unveil, hello. Wow, you want she got this, he got this uh, tape down, duct tape style. There we go. And so we got four compartments, flanel privé, whatever that means, flanel apicie, you feel me? And they're all gonna come together and we're gonna use it. I feel like because of the shades in here, I could use this to set my whole entire face, but I just wanna do under the eyes. So I'm gonna close it and unearth it into the cap, put some back, it'll be on the inside like so, you feel me? Now, this is when we take some, I'm gonna do a little shaky shake. I am a little bit nervous, but I've seen, I've seen this do very well on the interwebs, so I do have great faith in it. Let's make sure that the product and the creases are not looking like cobblestone, okay? And then, <laughs> make your face like this. And then take the number seven eye brush <laughs> and some of the product, which comes out a lot in the cap. Tap off the excess, you feel me? Contacts are getting a little bit dry. It's a little questionable right now. We're gonna go ahead and apply. A lot is on this brush, hence why I went to both sides. Ooh, okay, see, there's a lot on the brush. i be a little careful and spread this. Gorgioso, gore. Josity. I enjoy this. I like how that blended well. There's some powders that are so freaking drying. Once you put it in that one spot, it just sucks the life out of your skin and you cannot move it. This moved very, very well. This looks so pretty. I could put this on my whole face because it's not going to further highlight my face. Not this shade, at least. I have another one. Do I have a three? I got a three. I think I have a three. So that when I use it in my highlighted areas, it can actually make my face lighter versus this one matches my skin well. And with it having that red in it, it'll cancel out dark spots. That's the purpose of the reddish orange in terms of our deep skin tone. If you are my skin tone or around it, okay? That's how red works. Cancels out darkness. This looks so soft and so gorgeous. Oh, links are below. I ain't got no product that is a new contour powder, so we're gonna go with this Patrick Star situation, and this is the 59 brush from Sephora. And I'm gonna use the last one a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and forth between the second and last to really deepen this up. And I'm gonna do that today, you feel me? Usually I just do the middle, but I, mm, I want this to be a little deeper today. But if you liked how deep it was with just that e.l.f. contour wand, then no need to do this, you feel me? You can take a trim translucent powder and just go all over your face and leave that shade as is. For me, I want to not only set it and take away the shine, I want to deepen the color. That's why I use a contour powder. Okay, taking some under the chin in a very haphazard manner, just to make sure that there's a little bit of a shadow over here. We ain't doing this so hard and heavy with a cream. We ain't doing all that. Uh-uh, uh-uh. I'm -uh. liking all that stuff kicked up on the chin. This looks good, baby. I'm gonna use the same contour shade to just deepen this top part a little bit. It makes a difference with the face when this right here is snatched, baby. Right up in here, blah, blah, blah. And this can be really dark because I'm going to shade in my brows, uh, V, to my makeup brows that are different from my natural face brows, okay? Yo, I cannot get over how good my skin looks. Okay, I went in the archives and got this Kosas Cloud Set Powder. The shade is velvety. If you've been here for a while, then you know. I used to use this all the time. We don't need a lot of this, but I use a face powder at this stage of my process to really bring everything together, further blur out harsh lines, and add a little bit of coverage, you feel me? So that's where this comes in. And I like the shade a lot. We're going to highlight and then do the blush. So this is the Rare Beauty Pressed Highlighter in the shade Flaunt, which I do enjoy. I'm gonna take this part of the sponge so that I have more control over the product. Right down the middle, of my nose. I'm going very softly. Now that was actually thicker than I wanted. Let's go above the lip. <laughs> I normally use these days a luminous setting powder which goes underneath my eye and then makes this area right here already highlighted so that I don't even have to do this but I use a different powder today so we gonna go ahead and do that today. And it's so odd doing this because I don't normally 
do this. Bring it down a little bit so that when, this, when the light hits right here, you can still see some luminosity. Same on this side. You can stick to the upper area here if that's what you prefer, but you also can come down just a smidge right here and the light is gonna do the rest, okay? Right underneath the lip as well. When the light hits it, it's just that subtle glow. You feel me? You can see it. I know you can see it. Don't play, don't play me. Just gonna further define this contour because it got real wide with that highlight. You feel me? No more products, just what was left over on this random brush that I got from BoxyCharm ages ago. Now it's time for the blush. Now, I've got a few blushes here. I've been enjoying these in this and my Rick situations. I do wanna try these Revolution ones. Luminous finish, Ugh, natural flush of cover, color. See, I don't like natural flush. Like, I need to see the blush, you feel me? It's giving tin can realness. This is the shade Flushed Pink. Let's take a look at, oh, okay. Looking at this, I trust that it will give me color. I hope, at least. Let's do a finger. Lies, it was all a lie. Yeah, it's very, very flush, very light, very what I don't like. I wish that the space between the product and the can wasn't so deep because putting your sponge inside of it would be a little annoying. Let's just use the finger and just take a look at this. Yeah, lies. It's giving the milk one that I used the other day. It's giving, can almost pick up your makeup. It's an absolute no for me. This actually would be cute on the lips. Like it's feeling like a lip balm. This is a no for me. If you like a natural blush, then that's definitely gonna be for you. Let's pick something that I have not used. This is from House Labs. I used a different shade the other day. This is very electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. It's giving, wow, cool tone, purple, pinkish situation ship. This is the shade Dragon Fruit Days. This is gorgeous. And let's see how this shows up on the face. And this is an old but good MAC blush brush. Huh, this pink is really pretty. Wow, it has been ages since I've used used a light pink like this. I mean, wow. I mean, I used to use a light pink like this, not this exactly, but you know, from MAC, more so in the apples of my cheek, and then I would use something different, more from here to there, so that it ombre. This is looking soft and pretty. I would say, again, this is a more of an accent color. I'm gonna use a different one that I used the other day. Uh, I can mix this, a watermelon, and go more back. Yeah, like more in the middle, back. Do you see? If I was doing this and I had tried both, I would've started with this first and then the pink on top. But you know, here we are, it still looks good. You can bring it in a little bit just to mix it since I did it out of the order that I would prefer. I think this looks pretty, pretty. You comment and let me know what you think about this. Now what I do sometimes is take the brush that had the contour product on it and go back over toward the back, toward the hairline to make sure that my contour did not get lost in the blush. And that's what I was just doing. Just left over product on that brush to do just that. Now brows, I've been using this Refi. I have been hearing a lot about Refi on YouTube and I was thinking, where is it? Oh, it's not here. It's in my other kit. Okay, well, I'm not gonna use Refi today. But anyway, I have been using Refi and I have been thinking to myself like, why are the girlies mentioning Refi so much? Are we gearing for a partnership? <laughs> what are we gearing up for, huh? I haven't seen them do a partnership, but I thought, what is this Refi? And I got some stuff in PR and I thought, okay, maybe they just got PR too, okay. This is a lawless Shape Up Soft Fill Brow Pencil, and it is indeed soft. Do I like this? I don't remember. You know I'm trying new things all the time. Okay, I gotta press it, you feel me? I have to definitely give that a press. Uh-oh, made a little mistake, but we're gonna clean that up. It's all good. This skin looks good. What? Buttery, creamy. how you looking, baby. And now to clean this up, I'm gonna use a little bit of this Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer in the shade SX16. All right, a little bit of that behind my hand. I'm a behind the hand makeup artist tactics type of woman. And then NARS Soft Matte Amand. Ideally, I would have taken some kind of a scraper and gotten the product out, but what in the world? Again, another makeup artist tactic, but this is just me using it. I ain't got time today, so I'm literally dragging it out with this brush, all products and this brush linked below. Here we are, let's carve this brow. And it has mixed a little bit on the back of my hand. Now I do not carve the top of my brow. That is so old school. I still see videos where people do that and I'm just like, we're still carving the top of the brow? Like, dang, do you do that? Comment, let me know. I do understand if that's how you learned it and you don't know how to do it or you don't feel comfortable doing it in any other way, that I do understand. So clearly as you can see, I don't do that. 
It's looking dangerously. And then I've been taking my sponge to blend this out. I feel so adventurous. <laughs> Because as a former artist, girl, I was using my finger to do this. Like, come on, you know? So I feel so daring, like a daredevil doing this the way that the internet girlies do it. <laughs> I'm gonna set this with this Amakale translucent powder, black owned, African owned brand Sephora. Holla if you hear me, Nangadef Mangifi, you feel me? Go ahead and set this right here. MAC Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre. Right here on the eyes, baby. Before we do this eyeshadow. All right, I'm gonna crack open this Bare Minerals Minimalist eyeshadow palette. It looks like a book. Isn't that the cutest thing? This is the shade Cove in the palette. Is this gonna do what I need? Oh God, barely. I mean, it's applying, but why do I have to dig in here so much? And here is Cove right underneath the eyes. Now I'm gonna use this darker color on the crease of my eye, put this on my lid, and then do the inner eye tear duct with this color. Starting right here in the crease, poke your brush in to isolate out the space between the brow bone and the actual eyelid. Taking the product, always tapping off the excess, starting in the crease first to really deepen this out. And you're basically contouring the eyeball, essentially. This is not very pigmented at all. So this is a good palette if you don't want your colors to be so pronounced. Again, soft. This is more of Cove right here to make sure that I can still see it above this brown color, which is called coconut. And here is Cove under the eyes. And here's the shade coconut with my finger. Now, did you know that you could take a matte shade and use your finger to apply? Because if you didn't know, now you know. Right, also from Give Beauty, this eyeliner is the same eyeliner, but this shade is black top, but it's giving more gray. That's pretty. It's given the same effect as the brown in that it's dark, but not the darkest, which is black. So this is dark, it's more gray. So it's giving the de definition under the eye, but it's not so harsh. Wow, I like this. I've never done a gray eyeliner under the eye. How pretty on brown skin. Oh, and now that I'm looking close, I can see a shimmer, oh my. Now, I did not know that before, so be careful with liners with shimmer in your waterline because it may irritate your eyes. Thankfully, right now, I am not irritated, but I did not know that there was glitter or shimmer inside of this. What? I'm not going to smudge that at all. I'm gonna just leave it. And then in the tear duct from the same palette, this is the shade Glowing. Ah, uh, you can't really see it the way I need you to. Okay, let's balance out this side and then put something else on top. Milk color chalk in the shade Hopscotch. This is a champagne silvery color. It's definitely gonna brighten this up. See that already? Look at that. Let's see if this is any good. This is a new mascara from Give Beauty. So far, so good. I like the little ball at the top, at the front. Now, I always put on mascara before I apply my false lashes. That's just how I like to do it, and this is pretty. Wiggling side to side, turning upward, going downward as well, also wiggling side to side. Now, obviously, I have an eyeliner, but you get the drift, right? Now, this side looks a little better. I don't know if it's because I have better lashes on this side or more lashes, but... <laughs> This side is more impressive, okay? Like, wow. Ah, when you go back over it again, it's giving more va va voom on this side, mamita. So that's so key. That's a little trick right there. You feel me? If you have time, you know, to circle the block, you feel me? Go ahead and do that, and it does make a difference. You know, I'm gonna use my tried and true AliExpress lashes, less than $3. Go ahead and get you some stock up on them. You know, my favorite ones are D22, baby. And I always have to cut off the side, the end of it. I'll show you. And this is the Kiss INV Super Hold Glue. This thing is so janky, <laughs> but it works, okay? It's looking real crusty and suspicious, okay? But it's gonna work.
Get you one of these Revlon lash curlers below and pinch your lashes together, baby. You can use your hand, but why would you if you have this, you know? It's really cute. Okay, okay, okay. Now we have the Lawless One and Done Mascara. This thing is dry, but I'm not trying to get rid of her because she's so good. Same deal, left and right, going down, same going back up, twisting as well. So we're doing multiple motions to get the product onto the eye, come on. The drama of it all. It's been a long time since I've used the Lip Bar Savage, honey. Let's get back to that real quick. And on the inside, I have this Buxom lipstick called Heartthrob. Mmm, this is a pretty color. Wow, I like how this mixed in with, mm-hmm, yes! What a way to wrap this video up. Mm. I love how this turned out. I hope that you did too. All links are below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.